cop pulls over a car but his life changes when the driver rolls down his window. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. When Michael Patterson started his day, he assumed it would be a normal day on the job just like all the others. As a state trooper, most of his job involved keeping the streets and highways safe. He spent a good portion of the day pulling people over when they broke the rules of the road. Usually every traffic stop is somewhat similar to the last. He notices the infraction, pulls the car over and writes a ticket. Nothing special. When Michael was doing a patrol of the Kingwood Township Highway, he noticed a vehicle that stood out. It was a lovely summer day in early June and a white BMW rushed by him on the highway. The BMW wasn't speeding or driving erratically like most of the stops he usually made. Instead, the vehicle had windows that seemed to be tinted far past the legal limit. He wondered how the driver was even able to see out of them. Most people tint their windows and it's not a big deal. However, sometimes it does turn into a big deal when they're so dark they can't see. You limit your visibility if you tint your windows too much. That's what was happening here. So Michael knew he had to find out what was happening. He didn't want the driver or anyone else getting hurt, so he had to do his duty. He was serious about his job and he moved into action. Michael left his lights flashing as he got out of his car to speak to the driver of the BMW. He was a nice guy. He was usually very friendly with the people he pulled over, even though they were still getting in trouble with the law. So when Michael strolled over to the BMW's front windows and met the driver, the two men began to chat. They both started to learn things about each other and eventually made a stunning discovery. When Michael pulled the man over, the driver admitted that he was pretty embarrassed. He'd known that he wasn't speeding or anything like that, so when he heard he got pulled over because of his tint, he knew that it was against the law. And the crazy thing is, he should have known exactly what the legal limit was. Want to know why? You'll be shocked when you find out why. What's the stunning revelation? As it would turn out, the man used to be a cop himself. He was used to following the rules because he was a cop for 30 years before retiring. It was something that he loved to do and it was a big deal. So getting pulled over for a tint job wasn't the finest moments. However, he knew exactly how to handle it so it wouldn't be too big of a deal. Or so he thought. What was going on? The cop wasn't trying to get in trouble with another trooper. He just really liked how the tint looked on his BMW. When he found out that it was actually over the legal limit, he wasn't going to put up a fight. He realized that he needed to get it fixed so he thought it wouldn't be too dark. He just needed to talk to the people who'd put it on. Things are about to get strange, though, as the men kept talking. When Michael found out that the man was a cop, they started up a conversation. That was pretty easy to keep up. It was pretty cool to meet a cop while on duty, and so they started up a conversation about the profession. They were able to bond in just a few minutes, and it turned out to be one of the most important conversations that Michael ever had in his life. The men's interaction was all recorded on Michael's body cam and his vehicle's cameras as well. Later, he was so grateful to have a record of what turned out to be a once-in-a-lifetime encounter. The two men chatted for several minutes and Michael learned all about the driver. What should have been a traffic stop that lasted a moment or two kept getting longer and longer. The driver's name was Matthew Bailey and he too was a police officer, so they had something in common. Matthew began explaining that they'd worked for the force in another town not too far away. He was from Piscataway, about 40 miles away from their current location. Michael couldn't believe it when he heard this piece of information. Michael didn't recognize him, so he asked whether he'd been a cop in the same city. The man said that he wasn't. It wasn't until he said what city it was did Michael gasp. It was going to change everything. That was a town that he was born in. In fact, his mother still lived in that town. He was so surprised that this cop had been in his own town. This was a very cool connection. He knew of a few cops in the town but wasn't sure whether or not it could really be the same cop he was thinking of. If it was, he may have saved his life. Yes, Michael had once been saved by a cop. 26 years ago, there was a strange event that happened. It was nothing like it should have been and Michael was born in the craziest story ever. However, he'd never told anyone about this. When Michael heard that Matthew was from Piscataway, his ears automatically perked up. This was his hometown. What were the odds that he ran into not only a fellow officer but one from his hometown? When Matthew discovered that the trooper was born in Piscataway back in 1991, he had to get some more details. He remembered an event that happened nearly 30 years ago 
and wanted to know if it was possible that Michael was involved. Michael revealed that his birthday was on October 5th, 1991. Matthew couldn't believe what he was hearing. He fired back another question right away, asking what street in Piscataway he grew up on. There is about to be a connection that would change their lives. Matthew's suspicions were confirmed when he heard Michael's response to the question. Michael had grown up on a street named Ho Place, the same place where a young officer, Matthew, had been called on October 5, 1991. Matthew remembered Po Place vividly. It was a tiny dead-end street in the small town that most people probably didn't know existed. Back when he was a brand new police officer, Bailey went to answer a call on that street. He was still a rookie at the time, young with only four years of experience under his belt. He was on patrol in the small town when he got a call from dispatch that sent him to Po Place. When a woman's pregnant, they know that labor will be unavoidable at some point. It's just how long and when will they go into labor that's the question. Women spend days wondering whether or not the baby is coming. However, they usually have a few hours of smaller contractions to prepare for the labor to happen. That's how this labor was different from every other labor out there. This is one crazy story because things happen quickly. Generally, when a woman goes into labor, she'll experience contractions for quite some time. They'll start out slow and then ramp up as they get closer and closer to having the baby. It's one of the facts of life. However, not all women have this happen to them. Occasionally, labor will go on a lot longer or a lot slower than they usually think it should. And it's when it goes faster that women aren't prepared and there's no time to get to the hospital. Michael's mom had been in labor before and she didn't remember it feeling like this. It was much more calm and not nearly as intense. And with such breaks between contractions, she knew it wasn't normal. A lot of women will think they're in labor when they really aren't. And Michael's mom was a little bit worried about that. She didn't want to be that woman who thinks that she's giving birth when she really wasn't. But she was starting to get a little concerned. So she decided to call her husband and see what he thought. She stayed pretty calm, but the pain was becoming more and more intense as she waited. As she waited, she knew the baby was coming. It wouldn't stay in there long enough to make it all the way to the hospital. She called her husband who rushed home, but they didn't know what to do. So they called their doctor and called 911. They told them that they were sending a police officer and medical professionals to help deliver the baby because they're all trained to do that. Michael's mom was relieved that help was coming. When dispatch informed Matthew that a young woman named Karen was in a serious situation on Poe Place, he rushed to the scene as fast as possible. All of his instincts kicked in and he went to the tiny street to help out as much as he could. Karen and Bobby were so relieved when Officer Bailey arrived on the scene. Dispatch had sent him since he was the closest police officer to Poe Place. When he arrived, there was no time to waste. Things were happening quickly. Karen had to give birth right then and there. It was only minutes after he responded to the call that Officer Bailey was delivering a newborn baby. Talk about an unusual day at work. It certainly wasn't what he expected. Officer Bailey had experience with emergency response, so he was able to stay calm and collected. However, he definitely was not a medical professional or an obstetrician. He stayed on the phone with Karen's doctor the entire time to ensure everything went safely. The crazy incidence is that she had her baby with a cop. When you have a baby, you usually want to have it in the hospital. Most women don't want to have a baby on the side of the road, but that's what happened with her. So this was already a crazy occurrence. However, Michael never imagined that he would literally meet the cop who delivered him so many years later. It was a testament to crazy that was shocking. It's not often that people have their babies with cops. A lot of times the women will actually make it to the hospital. And if they don't make it to the hospital, they'll usually have their baby in the car on the side of the road or something. It's actually pretty rare that they have their baby at the house with a cop just pulling up and helping deliver it at the last second possible. The timing was incredible. How did this happen? Most cops will never deliver a baby in their lifetime, but it's something that they have to be prepared for. It gets a little crazy when it does happen, but all cops will agree. If they get to experience it, that's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. It's incredible to deliver a baby, and any cop that gets to do so is lucky and will tell you that. Matthew remembered it almost 30 years later like it just happened. Officer Bailey took all of the responsibility onto himself, doing everything he needed to do for the baby to be born safely. The whole experience took only minutes since Karen's labor was already in advanced stages when he arrived. When the baby boy was born, Matthew even took the time to unravel the umbilical cord from around his small neck. He then handed him to his parents and took a deep breath. It was an incredible occurrence that they were able to meet up with each other. 
this was something that would almost never happen again and it didn't pass them by they both knew how lucky and fortunate they were to experience it 